Hey guys, so this is Nurmal here for Technic and today we'll see the Nokia X camera app uh, which has been ported to other Android phones running Android 4.1, Jelly Bean and above. So this camera app has a totally different UI when compared to the normal Android camera phone uh, camera UI. So we have installed this um, Nokia X camera app on our Moto G and we'll see what uh, features it has to offer. So this is the camera app so you can see here it has the same UI. So I will just zoom in and show you the UI. So you can see here it has the all set of options uh, available on the left side including white balance. So then you have exposure, you have the list of all settings. Uh, settings include anti branding, banding, ISO, histogram, noise reduction. Uh, then you have contrast sharpness, uh, picture quality, focus, uh, etc. Uh, then uh, you also have the option to switch to panorama as well as a uh, video cam and then the zoom option here so you can uh, zoom in using this option so the camera ui is uh, pretty much uh, same uh, what you find on uh, the nokia x so you have the set of options you can also switch to gallery mode from here and uh, then the option to take photos then uh, to switch to video mode as well as uh, panorama so if you go to the options so you have a couple of uh, new options like uh, uh, red eye reduction then um, uh, then you have selectable zone uh, autofocus uh, so quite a few options have been added in this camera along with the flash since uh, Nokia X does not support flash that option was not here but uh, the, this uh, this Nokia X port has been made by the XTA developer for a member and he has added uh, this uh, flash also in, in, into this um, uh, camera UI so that's pretty handy because this camera comes with a flash and uh, you have the option to control the flash from here so we'll just uh, have a quick look at uh, the difference uh, here between the, the Nokia X so we have the Nokia X with us so we'll have a quick comparison of uh, what uh, new features they have added so we have uh, this camera UI so you can see here first option anti banding then you have ISO then histogram is a new option then you have noise reduction um, uh, then uh, you have this uh, saturation um, then um, face detection is already available in both the phones and um, red eye direction is for something new then uh, touch autofocus uh, selectable area autofocus that's again uh, something new uh, then you have um, what else is there um, looks everything other than that uh, looks very similar so few options like uh, uh, red eye reduction then you have uh, selectable uh, zone auto focus so these are the new options added so interface wise it's very similar there isn't any uh, any difference here you can see uh, all set of options here except for the fact that uh, it has a few other options added uh, along with the flash so this uh, ui is pretty handy because if you have a good uh, camera on the android phone you can uh, get better control on your uh, camera settings using this option so so you can just download and uh, install this uh, app you can uh, get the app from the link below in the description and uh, this is uh, this is reported by the xta forum developer xta forum um, member so all credits to that uh, person who has supported this so this is uh, a brilliant app you can uh, get more controls uh, on your photos so that's uh, that's a quick look at uh, the nokia x camera app on uh, the moto x i mean the moto g and uh, it looks it works fine on this android phone so it works on uh, any phone now uh, which has android 4.1 and above because uh, nokia x has the 4.1 variant so you can install it on any other phone which has 4.1 and above so that's all guys if you have any specific queries regarding this uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video